This is why prompt engineering isn't just some buzzword. You're not, quote, asking a question. You're shaping the statistical landscape that determines what kind of answer emerges. So watch this. Why is the sky blue? Straightforward factual answer. Why is the sky blue? Explain it like I'm five years old. Simpler vocabulary, shorter sentences, maybe an analogy. Why is the sky blue? I'm writing a physics paper. You'll get technical terms, citations, formal structure. Same question, completely different probability distributions over which word comes next. Even without those explicit instructions, the model picks up on subtleties. Your phrasing, your vocabulary level, your punctuation. There's also a thing called temperature that controls how adventurous the model gets. Low temperature, it picks the most likely word almost every single time. Safe, predictable. High temperature, hey, it takes risks, sometimes more creative, sometimes a little weird. The point is, vague prompts get vague answers because the model has less to work with. More context, better context, clearer context equals better predictions. Now, here's the uncomfortable part. The whole system explains why ChatGPT can be confidently wrong. It's not checking facts, it's predicting what a good sounding answer looks like. If the most likely next word leads to a false statement, that sounds plausible, the model generates it without hesitation. It doesn't know it's wrong, it doesn't know anything. It's just predicting that those words typically follow the other words. This is why you should think of these tools as prediction engines, not knowledge bases. They're incredibly good at generating plausible, well-structured text. They're less reliable at being factually accurate about specific details. Use them accordingly.